Hey guys, it's February 22nd at about 6 p.m. ish. So today I am trying my look at African threading, and I've pretty much done my whole head except this last section because I wanted to come back and do at least one. So, first off, let me say that this is a little bit challenging, but I feel like the results, if I actually took this out and let my hair be free, I would actually have stretched hair. So, I imagine that with my hair, if I actually like pressed it, it would be like this long. Um, I actually got my inspiration from Girls Love Your Curls and Miss Meteor. Um, she did hers with four twists on the side and hers was much longer. <laughs> That's everybody's is whenever I'm trying to do something and I'm like, oh my hair is about that length. No, nah, not quite. So I kind of look like Coolio a little bit, and that's okay, I guess. I'll figure something out. But I'm just going to turn around and show you the back. So I did medium-sized plaits and smaller ones at the bottom because I know my hair is uh, thinner back there. And I actually been doing this for a while. I started probably at about 12, 30-ish. And I've been doing this for six hours on and off with breaks. So, um, all that I'm using for this is a pair of scissors. Um, I bought some weave thread. I got a bigger roll. This was $3. They had a smaller one for $1.99. Um, big clamps. Smaller clamps to hold the end pieces. And my moisture butter cream. My beautiful textures. And then I have two combs, one for parting and then one for detangling. I know this isn't the comb I'm supposed to be using, but it's been helping me move through the process a little bit faster because at this point in the game, I was just like, I got to get through it. Um, and then I also had one spray bottle with a little bit of water and olive oil to help moisturize my hair. And for a couple of pieces, I did have to use rubber bands, black rubber bands. So I just have one piece left. Um, so what I'm going to do is get the hair prepped. So I'm doing it just like I saw it in this New Year's video. Moisturize the hair. And I must say using that shampoo from the, um, previous video, if you watched that, I love the shine that my hair has. And this has no product in it. only thing that I have in my hair right now is the Giovanni's direct leave-in and maybe a little bit of coconut oil from see that from my deep condition you know but that's it so I'm pretty pleased with that um I think this would help with stretching the hair I know this is what it's supposed to be intended for but I'm going for one more protective style I actually thought while I was doing this, maybe next time, if I'm, I'm venturing into threading, maybe even try and thread the Marley hair into it and see what that does because at least that could help me get it into a bun because I don't know how much um, I'm going to be able to get into a bun. So that was like one of those epiphanies I had and it was a little bit too late. I'm also have my mirror behind me to kind of help me see the back of my head a little bit better but... The spaces were still a little odd, so I'm um, using about this much thread. I'm using the way they said gauge it is to use double the amount that um, your hair is. So I think my hair is short, but I wind around probably at least five or six times. So um, I've definitely been using, or on some pieces, I haven't been gauging it right. Um, based off that, you tie a small knot into the end, and then I'm going to add a little bit of moisture cream into my hair so I have something to hold it down. It's not I'm not going to do any gel this time since I just got most of that gel out of my hair from the wash that I just did. I'm just going to do this um, moisture cream and see what that does by itself so smooth that all in make sure my ends are really good 
And then this is the struggle that I've been, um, why it's taken me so long is trying to, to start the wrap on yourself. Now probably on somebody else is probably easy, but I take the piece, for me, I've been taking my hair and take the knotted end, start it, hold it on the process, well, on the piece, and then takes me a couple of tries, but I kind of hold it in place. Uh-oh, my battery's low. I gotta hurry up. Uh, if my video dies, I'm really sorry. I had intentions of um, doing this live for you. But I was actually using my tablet for music instead of taping if not if it dies I'll be back and I'll go to I'll use my cell phone Alright, that's five times. And then I take that piece and pull it as close to the scalp as I can get it. And then while holding this, I just wrap around the length of my hair. And this part is actually the easy part is getting it on there. But the key is to make sure you're holding the hair taut while you wrap. Alright, so I'm at the bottom and now ideally I would make a knot. This is the part that's taking me a while to make a knot or loop. And then that's it. I'm gonna keep making the knot so we'll make sure it's tight and then I'll come back and show you how I styled it so I can let this bad boy charge. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I'm back. So what I ended up doing is pulling it into a bun. So this is one side. I'll flat twist it up. And then on this side, I pulled all the plaits to the back. And then in the back. I added some Marley hair to my actual hair to protect the ends and then I just pulled all of the twist 
into this bun to make like a semi-protective style. So that's what this looks like. Uh, I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but I am happy that I have everything pulled back. So like I can throw a scarf on this and just go, you know. So I just wanted to come back and show you that. So thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll be glad to happy, <laughs> happy to answer. Excuse me. All right. Bye bye. And what I found helped me is to turn to the side, ironically. So we'll see if that does it. <laughs> My camera's gonna die. I'll be back. I just feel it.